I can now select the code, ask Copilot to generate the test, and this will, right after a second, generate all the unit tests I need for this specific example. Not enough time to write tests? Well, actually, this is not a valid reason, but we now have Copilot chat, which can help us. All you have to do is open the chat, type slash to see all the functions you can use, and there we can find test, generate unit test for the selected code. But is it reliable? Well, today we're gonna give it a go with three simple cases. I will ask Copilot chat to generate the test and together we will evaluate if the tests are fine. The first example we're gonna see is fits buds. This is quite a common problem and it will basically print fits buds or fits buds depending on the number. I can now select the code, ask Copilot to generate the test and this will, right after a second, generate all the unit tests I need for this specific example. So I can create a new file, let's call it test.ts and from this button I can basically import all the tests here. If I run the test, there you have it, it will run all the tests and they indeed pass. What's interesting here is that Fitzbats is actually a no problem. So Copilot might already try to guess the output even without having the full code. For example, if I delete all this code and I only keep return num and I generate the test again, Copilot will still try to tell me that there's still something about multiple of 3, 5 and 3 and 5, even though my code isn't actually there. So this is a double-edged sword because yes, the tests are fine, but the tests are fine because Copilot tried to guess what my code had to do. However, if I just wanted a function incidentally called fitsbats, which returns the same number, well, this is just wrong. Let's say my fitsbats function doubles a number. What will Copilot generate here as tests? And again, even if I wrote a function that doubles a number, those are the tests. Let me rename the function. Double. Well, <laughs> now you cannot be wrong, Copilot. If I have a function called double, it will just double the number. But that's not all. Here it says if I use double and a string, a boolean or undefined, it will return invalid input, the string invalid input. But there isn't such an if statement here in the code. And for example, if I try to paste this test suite here, actually, uh, first of all, I cannot even run the test because they get an error because of TypeScript, but let's try to trick <laughs> TypeScript with any so that we can execute the test suite. And obviously this will still fail because there isn't this return invalid input string. So Copilot decided that I had to do this test. Is it correct? Is it wrong? Well, it's a reasonable thing that I should maybe return invalid input as a string, but it was not in my code. So what do you think? Was it a helpful hint or is it just plain wrong? Let me know in the comments while we go on the second case. That is Roman converter. So this is a function that converts Roman number to decimal number. So you put a string that is the Roman number and it will convert to the decimal number. I actually stole this from here, so thank you. What I wanted to achieve here is that Roman numbers are in a separate file and Copilot only can generate tests for the code I actually selected. So if I try to generate the test for this selected code, you will see that the tests are reasonable. I can create test.ts and paste them here. It will cover one and then all the age cases. For example, 4, 9, 49, which are those cases where the letter is swapped. But how did you know that number one equals to i? Did it find it from here? Well, no, because it didn't read the file. And for example, if this is wrong, let's say vu is 7, 
and I run the test, you will find that at least the test will fail. Exactly this one which was expecting 4 but got 6. And again, this is interesting because Copilot decided that a Roman converter had to take the letter V as the value 5, while in our code, letter V was 7. So are we happy that our test is failing? In this specific case, probably yes, because number 5 has to be V. But if this was some other custom logic, well, this was a wrong test. And speaking of custom logic, well, we have our third example. Let me show you. Here, this is the simplest use case I could think of, and we have a function can cross the bridge. If there's a truck crossing the bridge, its weight has to be less or equal than the weight that the bridge can support. So it's pretty simple, but we have minus or equal. So if we ask Copilot to generate the test for this really simple function, it will obviously say that if the bridge equals the weight of the bridge equals the weight of the truck, this is fine because that's exactly what our code says. But what if this was just wrong? Our bridge wanted less weight than the truck weight. Well, Copilot is not able to identify that our logic, our custom logic has a bug. So the test that is generated basically uh, validates the bug. So the test is fine, is green, but then a truck crosses the bridge and the bridge collapses, which is the worst case scenario. But this again is a warning to think about the automatically generated test. If your code has a domain issue, asking Copilot or any sort of AI to generate the test will inevitably generate tests that are passing, but are inherently wrong. So I keep repeating this basically on every AI related video. If AI is writing something for you, make sure to read carefully and understand what the AI generated. Because in cases like this one we've just seen, if your code is wrong, but reasonable, the AI will generate wrong tests. And if you just say, yeah, I generated the tests with Copilot, they're fine. Well, they're not. <laughs> and that was really it. Thank you for watching this video and see you here or there. Thanks again and bye.